great pleasure to introduce the famous Deb Collett. Thank you. We're here at the Australian National uh, Championships for the Dahlia Society and as part of the New South Wales ACT um, home turf here in, in Canberra. And Deb, you've been exhibiting flowers since you were five years old when you won your first championship. Yep back yep. in New Zealand yes. and it's been part of your sort of psyche for ever since then and you've come up from the Victorian uh, Dahlia Society to yep. be part of the review committee on the standards yes. to do with Dahlia yep. Yep. showing and point scoring and the like and you brought a whole heap of flowers with you and you've exhibited them in the show today and you've come second place by three points I think it was. It was something like that. And you've got some wonderful blooms that you're going to give us a little bit of a heads yeah. up on some of the, yeah. the background and the That'd story. Be That'd be great, Deb. One of my other passions about Dag is, is just learning the stories of the different blooms and learning a bit more about how they were bred or why they were bred. We're looking closely here at a vase of uh, water lily dahlia called Pam Howden. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow, look at the colours. The colours are just amazing. Variety of and tones. And that has got a lovely Beautiful. story. It was bred in Victoria, right. Pam Howden. Um, and it was named after a lady called Pam Howden, who was the sister-in-law of the breeder. And she would come into the patch, you know, visit, come drop in for a cup of coffee. And as soon as she saw this one bloom for the first time as a seedling, she was just drawn to it and really, really loved it. And uh, continued each time she came to come and see and look for those blooms. And um, it was something that they named, he named for her. Oh, Normally he that. would have uh, named all of it Glenbank something, that right. was the breeder's prefix he used. Uh -huh. But for that particular one he named it for nice. his sister -in -law. And who stayed this one today? That was uh, Highland Daly. Highland so Daly, that's Jared Oldfield. It is indeed. He's got a, a few and there. And so he got a second there for that one with, uh, behind a vase of Cal Guy Anne. I don't oh, know. Oh, the Kill Diane's won the first prize, yeah. has it? This is another uh, dahlia which has a really interesting story. It's a collaret dahlia. Yeah, so Aegean sky. Aegean sky. Aegean so sky. what it's what a collaret consists of is eight ray florets, and then this little collar of uh, typically different coloured, uh, which are all a little, little bit spiky. The thing about this one is. It actually has a fragrance. Oh, beautiful. Dahlias don't normally have a fragrance, I didn't but this particular that. breeder, again a Victorian, a guy called Chris Michalopoulos, bred for fragrance and had quite a successful breeding program. This seems to be the one that exists. It's around a lot, people don't know, but if you smell it, you can. The pollen has a slight fragrance, wow. which is something a little bit different. That was oh, in one I of just... mine, but if we go... Oh, that was one of yours? Yeah, that was Beautiful. a one that I grew. Wow. And this was actually a seedling that's just come up in the patch. Uh, this is this one of your seedlings? Yeah. Oh, wow, good um, isn't it, Deb? So I'm not sure whether that one's going to make the grade. It's quite a nice uh, single. Yeah. Again, it's just got the eight. And it must have eight. Right. Can't have seven, can't have nine. Right, right. But yeah, that's something a little bit different. Gotcha. And then this one on the end, we're going for all the odd rules again. <laughs> um, this one's called an anemone because it looks a little bit like that. Uh -huh. um, and bred again by another Victorian, this time Bill Johnson, who has a huge program, uh, over 90. Right. Canella. He's over 90 and still breeding oh, hundreds wow. of new dahlias every year. Very but he really loves these different ones, the anemones, the collarettes um, and the orchids. Good on you. Well, thanks for that, Deb. I know you got to go to a meeting. Yeah, sorry. So do well on that review committee. Thanks very and we'll much. We'll catch up another time. Okay, thanks. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.